hi guys welcome to my videos so guys today in this video i am going to discuss about prepayments to your mortgage so guys uh, before i proceed further i would have to clarify this is my opinion that is based on my knowledge and research and if you take anything out of this you do it at your own risk so guys we, we are seeing lot of foreclosures we are seeing lot of power of sales the reasons are quite simple those who purchase during the peak at uh, low interest rate are like highly stressed because of a uh, rise in rapid rise in interest rate i would say the payments have spiked thousands for many within a year and uh, still like in in the last announcement the bank of canada has not increased the rate but they have not decreased too and still like none of us know what's going to be the future so in that situation while prepayments may not be even a thinkable option for many households but those who have gone for fixed mortgage payment uh, before the increase in rates kicked in there is some scope that they should think of okay so watch this video till the end as i am going to describe various aspects and uh, the details so what happens with prepayment is whatever amount you pay as prepayment it goes towards your principal because this is extra payment you are doing apart from your regular scheduled payment maybe you are paying bi weekly maybe monthly or whatever frequency you are doing so it goes towards your principal okay now if you really want to see how it really impacts you what i would tell you like you may have like online logging through your lender if you are from bank or other uh, providers i am not sure about private but if you are from a bank uh, or else you can use online calculators like go for amortization schedule okay put the balance you owe interest rate and whatever the, the other criteria and see the schedule so what it's going to show you it's going to show you like your next payment date and payment amount how much is going to go towards the principal how much is going to go towards interest now whatever is going to go towards a principal in your next payment if i make equivalent amount of that principal today let's say in my next uh, scheduled payment uh, $800 principal plus $400 interest are gonna go out of 1200 payment if i make 800 today extra this 800 is gonna go towards my next principal okay towards the next principal okay now what's going to happen the interest that was associated with 800 i am not going to pay because that particular amount is paid second thing in the next payment instead of 800 maybe uh, like 801 will go towards your principal because down the line the more you payments you make more money goes towards your principal and interest gets reduced so how much you have saved you have saved a particular payment for yourself so this will not just save your uh, interest it will also save your amortization period i made some uh, pre payments and i got a letter from my lender who is a bank and they have reduced my amortization period because uh, a certain amount i have already paid so this will help you even in the long term a lot of people may not agree to this and they may say that okay for investing money we have better options yes i am not denying this fact it could be and it varies case by case but at this moment of uncertainty that what's going to happen at the time we renew let's say i took my mortgage in 2019 next year in my mortgage is going to come up for renewal i know at this moment nobody has a crystal ball to tell me exactly what is going to be the interest rate then so what options i have keep paying regular payments and wait for uh, the interest rate then or try to reduce uh, the amount i owe so that even if, if so that whatever is the interest rate then still i can make it better because the less you owe more options you have right you you easily qualify right what if uh, your lender asks for a what do you call uh, appraisal of your property because of the downturn we are seeing in the market if you owe a million um, at the time of your renewal and the value of the property comes 960 950 what's going to happen can you imagine it 
may hit you worse than you can imagine so in my opinion as i said uh, uh, in the video before reducing the amount we owe is always going to help me like if i note down the benefits benefit number 1 i am directly paying the principal so prepayment is like mortgage payment with 0% interest i am just paying the prepayment again there is a limit and uh, banks generally have seen allow 15% Uh, every mortgage here but you can always check it with your provider your broker agent whoever you have this mortgage with you can read terms and condition and you can ask for banks even you can log in and check what is the amount you can do so that's a great facility so you always get an idea so if i go for that route like i'm going to get this much money so this really helps guys this really helps and uh, in this way it helps you better because the less amount i owe like for example because i just cited an example that let's say at the time of renewal uh, your principal remaining is a million and uh, your house value is 960 you can be in trouble but because you made regular prepayments let's say 1000 1200 whatever every month and uh, you managed to bring your principal down to 900 or 920 or less than that whatever just example you are in a much better situation and moreover like uh, you can even negotiate also when you have less uh, money owed because you can always say like i am making good payments why don't i qualify for better rates even if you go to other lenders to discuss like even if a broker goes like your payment history matters a lot and if they see that yeah you have been making good progress then that's really good that's really uh that's really good like it's going to show you that uh you have been making regular payments and prepayments so even the next lender will feel some sort of confidence in you now many people those who don't agree to me they say that hey this money we can invest somewhere else maybe in mutual funds maybe in gic maybe in other financial schemes that can yield better results i am not denying a lot of people invested in cryptocurrencies at right time and now they have become like multifold um income holders i don't deny that but from a common perspective like i have or like a common man i like do not take much risk because i'm not in a position to take risk if i invested somewhere and i don't get the res- uh, required results i'll be nowhere right and again like a uh, lot of people because of the high inflation may not even be in a position to make additional prepayments because they are struggling to make their regular payments that is also a reality so that is why i said that it varies case by case but if possible go for it because this is something that can yield a huge uh, relief to you that's really gonna help you so that is what i wanted to tell you guys i notified all the benefits and even if rates fall before i end the video i will discuss one more scenario even if the rates fall so what there will be some interest rate right and the interest you are always going to pay on the balance you owe if the balance you owe is down still there will be a profit maybe less than because the interest rate is low but there will be a profit right so i don't see any loss in this approach and this may save you from falling into power of sale or other traps at the end of uh, your mortgage uh, at the time of your mortgage renewal so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel thank you